All right, Michigan veterinarians are watching for any signs of the respiratory virus that's making dogs around the country sick. Christy McDonald talked with Michigan's top vet, Dr. Nora Wineland, on the Daily Plus Live about some of the warnings the state has for dog owners. I think what all dog owners are asking now, is this respiratory illness in Michigan yet? So no, to date, we have not received any confirmed reports of any atypical canine uh, respiratory or infectious respiratory disease. It has gone by a number of different names. It comes with symptoms that are very similar to many known illnesses. So diagnosing it is a, is a effort in excluding all of those known illnesses. So I think that's really important for people to understand. And to do that, you have to work with a veterinarian. I'm a dog owner and, and I think, you know, dog owners, we've all heard the term kennel cough. What makes this particular uh, virus so concerning that we're hearing more about it happening around the country? So what is different, what is the atypical part of it when we talk about it is that dogs don't recover like they do if they have the, you know, what we're used to seeing as kennel cough. So usually, you know, within a few days, dogs start to get better because it's generally a viral origin. And mostly if your dog is well vaccinated and, and in good nutrition and in good health, they're gonna recover from it. But if they're immune suppressed, um, or anything is given to them that hurts their immune system, like steroids, you know, they're going to have a hard time recovering. As we watch as this has, you know, hit dogs in other parts of the country, when and if would we know that it would actually come to Michigan? Is there any kind of reporting or anything like that that you'd be able to say six months from now we have X amount of cases? So that's the hard thing. You know, this is a really common presentation of dogs, the kennel cough, as, as we talked about. And so it is not a reportable disease. So we can't say, oh, this is way above baseline. We're seeing a lot more of this really common disease because we don't have a base reporting to know what is normal. There are a lot of diagnostic testing centers that are looking out for this as well as vets. And Dr. Weiland has a couple of more tips for you. If you do have a dog, make sure your dog doesn't share a water bowl with other dogs. And also make sure that they are up to date on their vaccines. And when in doubt, head to your vet. I'm Christy McDonald, back to you.